do we measure amniotic fluid index? And it is simple. We divide the maternal abdomen or the gravity uterus into four quadrants as shown. And we measure the amniotic fluid index in each quadrant. Remember to keep the probe perpendicular to the flow. It should not be held in an angle. Otherwise, it will lead to a wrong amniotic fluid measurement. And always avoid excessive pressure over the probe. As you can see from this image, if we give excessive probe pressure, the fluid will move out. And if the probe pressure is relieved, again, the amniotic fluid pocket is seen nicely. So never give excessive pressure over maternal abdomen. And then we you divide the uterus into four quadrants. We will see the video of how to measure this amniotic fluid index in a short. The first step is to get an overview of the gravity uterus. This gives us an idea about how the fetus is placed as well as adequacy of liquor. This is subjective evaluation of amniotic fluid index. And then we will divide the screen into four parts. My usual take is I begin from the left upper quadrant and then clockwise move from upper to left lower, left upper, left lower right lower and right upper. That way we have a systematic way of assessing amniotic fluid index. We note the depressed vertical pocket which is free of any fetal part and then measure vertically down from the upper edge to the lower edge. Always follow a scheme so that you will not be measuring second pocket again repeatedly. And we measure the four quadrant AFI. Uh, the, if the amniotic fluid index is between 5 to 24 centimeters, it is normal lichen. If it is less than 5 centimeters, it is oligodermnas. And if it is more than 24 centimeters, it is called as polyhedermnas. People also use another system that is the best vertical pocket measurement. And we can measure the, the amniotic fluid index, that is the deep, deep vertical pocket or deepest vertical pocket in any quadrant of the uterus. Then normally it should be between 2 to 8 centimeters. If it is less than 2 centimeters, it is oligodermnus. If it is more than 8 centimeters, it is called as polyhedermnus. These are some examples how poly or oligo can be seen. On picture on my left, we can see the AFI is 30 centimeters. So this is oligodermnus, and the picture on the right shows. No liquor while the pockets are containing only the cord, and this is a case of uh, oligodermnus. Of course, it is not, the intention is not to discuss the various etiologies of polyhedermus or oligodermnus, but what thing we should keep in, in mind are certain things responsible for polyhedermus, such as diabetes or some fetal conditions. Polyhedermus is important because there is two to five fold increase in the perinatal mortality with the polyhedermus. More problematic for us will be the oligodermis and there are a number of conditions responsible for oligodermis. Again, if there is a severe oligodermis, there is 15 to almost 50 percent fold increase in the perinatal morbidity and mortality. Uh, though this technique for quadrant KFI is good for singleton assessment, for twins we need to, we, it is not possible to divide the every twins sack into four different quadrants. So here we stick to the best vertical pocket and measure the deepest vertical pocket in the same manner. So if the deepest vertical pocket is between 2 to 8 centimeter, it is in normal liquor, less than 2 will be oligo and more than 8 will be polyhedermnus. Uh, this is an example where you can see there is a differential disease, the deepest vertical pocket measurement in case of A2 ingestion. Uh, this is also a marker of early twin to twin transplant syndrome. For example, in a monochronic pregnancy, if the deepest vertical pocket on one side is less than 2 cm and other has more than 8 cm, this is an early oligopoly sequence and could be the first marker of developing twin to twin transplant syndrome. Thus, keep it in mind to keep it in mind certain simple precautions. Major amniotic fluid index with a transducer which is held sagittally and is perpendicular to the floor. In case of suspected polyhedromas, measure all four vertical fluid pockets. In case of oligodermnus, you can measure the single depressed vertical pocket. Look for maternal disease or fetal structure abnormalities with abnormal AFI and follow the progress carefully by ultrasound. 